So I built this vacuum chamber. Now, what does one do with this thing? It's used to stabilize wood with a stabilizing resin like cactus juice. This piece of hard maple has a soft, spongy center. Many people might just throw something like this away, but not me. Not this dogwood. This piece is already pretty dry, but the first step is to get it super dry. Place it in a conventional oven. Do not use your kitchen oven dedicated for cooking food. Your wife will not be happy with you. After the workpiece has been super dried, let it cool to room temperature. The wood is then submerged in the stabilizing resin inside a vacuum chamber. To keep it from floating in the resin, I enclose it in a metal cage. I place it into the vacuum chamber. I then pour the premix stabilizing resin into the chamber, covering the workpiece by 2-3 to three inches. Turn on the vacuum pump and let it run for at least an hour. Dense woods may take longer to stabilize. At 25 to 26 on the mercury scale, I'm not getting a perfect vacuum, but that's close enough for me. The stabilizing resin will foam a lot at first, as what's happening is the air is being pulled out of the wood and the stabilizing resin will replace the voids that once held the air in the wood. After a short while, the major foam will subside. When the vacuum pressure is released, the stabilizing resin is pulled into the voids. I use a wire coat hanger to hook onto the cage and pull the workpiece from the chamber. Wrapping the workpiece in foil is not necessary, but it contains the mess. Baking this in the oven hardens the stabilizing resin. And that once soft, spongy material is now as hard as wood and the entire workpiece is stabilized. I've seen some really interesting things others have done, but I'm just getting started in this, so I don't have anything for show and tell just yet. But I will, so please hit that subscribe button with notifications and stay tuned. Thanks for watching, you have a great day now.